Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. In this question, we're going to be rearranging a formula. And the tricky thing about it is that the thing that we're going to make the subject, T, appears in two places. So what we've got to aim to do is to get any expressions in T on one side and any expressions in anything else on the other side. So at the moment, although the T is on the right hand side, it's in two places. So in order to deal with that, what we're going to do is to multiply both sides by the denominator of the fraction. So it will look to begin with as if T is on the right hand side and the left hand side, but we will sort that out. So let's make a start. So we're going to multiply both sides by 4 plus t. So we've got 4 plus t times p on the left hand side and 3 minus 2t on the right hand side. And now what we need to do is expand the bracket. So we're going to multiply out the, uh, the left hand side so that will give us 4p plus t times p or pt so that's 3 minus 2t. Now we're in a position to gather everything together on the left hand side that's got a t in it and everything else on the right hand side. So let's just leave the pt on the left hand side and subtract 4p from the right hand side as well. So we've still got the 3 minus 2t on the right hand side. We've taken 4p away from the left hand side so we're going to take it away from the right hand side as well. So we've nearly got to where we want to be in the sense that we've nearly got the terms in t on the left hand side. All we need to do is to make sure that we've got the 2t over on the left hand side as well. So we're going to add that to both sides. So we'll have 2t plus pt on the left hand side and 3 minus 4p on the right hand side. So now the terms in T are on the left hand side and everything else is on the right hand side. And now we need to factorise the left hand side because remember we only want to have the T in one place. So we've got T being multiplied by 2 and a plus P there. So T times 2 plus P will give us 2T plus PT and we can leave the right hand side as 3 minus 4p. And finally, we can see that t is going to be, if we divide both sides by 2 plus p, it's going to be 3 minus 4p over 2 plus p. Now you may think that there isn't a way of checking that, but there actually is. What you could do is you could try a value of t and see what you get for p and then reverse the process and see if it works out correctly. So it's not really a proof that the answer is correct, but it's, it's pretty likely that if you can do a check, it will show you whether or not you've got the right answer. Now you've got to be careful what you try out for your t. You don't want to try something really simple like zero and I, and I would avoid something like one minus one as well, but in fact, also in this case, we wouldn't want t to be negative 4, would we? Because we wouldn't want the denominator, the 4 plus t, to be equal to 0. Because, well, we can't divide by 0, can we? So I'm going to choose, let's think. We don't want to make life too complicated. We can choose anything really for t. So let's choose t as 5. So what we're going to do is work out what p would be if t is 5. So when t is equal to 5, then the original formula gave us 3 minus 2 times t in the numerator. So 3 minus 2 times 5, and that's divided by 4 plus t, so 4 plus 5. So 3 minus 2 times 5 is 3 minus 10, so that's going to be minus 7, and 4 plus 5 is 9. So all I've done there is said that when t is equal to 5, then p would be minus 7 ninths. And the way we can check our final answer is we can put p as minus 7 ninths into our formula and see if t does come out to be 5. 
So let's have a look. So we're saying that 3 minus 4 times p, so 3 minus 4 times minus 7 ninths, that's what we've got as our numerator, and our denominator is 2 plus p, so 2 plus negative 7 ninths, so 2 minus 7 ninths. So you could work that out on a calculator. Or what we could do is multiply numerator and denominator by 9, couldn't we? So then we'd get 3 9s are 27. And then here we've got minus 4 times minus 7, so that's plus 4 7, so that's plus 28. And 9 2s are 18 minus 7. So that gives us 27 plus 28 is 55. 18 minus 7, 11, and 55 divided by 11 is 5. So that looks as if we have got the right answer because we can see that when we put p in as negative 7 ninths, t does come out to be 5, as we'd hoped.